We are test the vacuum suction, this handle. Okay, uh, maybe sometimes people will see that the, there is no suction for this vacuum handle. And uh, I will tell you how to set the vacuum suction. Firstly, it's very important is here, this is the vacuum field. Vacuum field, make sure this, this seal ring uh, is here in the good condition and here this seal here is in good condition okay now okay okay so sometimes people will just uh, install this vacuum filter just like this no this is a uh, error it's, it's not right we should put the vacuum filter like this it is close to this uh, in this base okay and now we will set the vacuum setting vacuum setting is here and this is the section and this is the release section down section up section Release, uh, release down and release up. And then normally we will set the section nine, and the release is about two, one or three is okay. Uh, normally the section is far, far than the release. Okay, now we will press the start button. Now we can hear the the vocal model frankly and uh, if we put a figure here we can we can hear the suction here it indicates that uh, the suction working well and then now we start we stop the suction and connect the vacuum handle Okay, now connector, B connector here, just like here, and then, then we test it again, and set the suction and the release, and press the start, and then now we test. Sometimes people will just like this. Whoa, this there is no suction. It is wrong. If you like this to test, it is wrong. How do we test the vacuum? And sometimes we can. Use this arm, you can see. Okay, and uh, this one is the vacuum suction adjustment button. If you s uh, feel the suction is uh, slow or the, it is too less, and then we can adjust the vacuum suction. And now, normally we test the vacuum by the up down. You can see here. Okay, it indicates that the vacuum work well. Okay. There are two models. Okay, if we uh, set the release zero, and uh, so we how we can see. Okay, whoa, it is amazing. Okay.